Alright guys, I thought I'd do a video and show you my tactical rifle case for my AR-15 rifle and the different features that a case like this has. Now I've had this case for uh, a while now, but I just now thought of doing a video on it. Figured some people might like to see what kind of options are out there. I also have another case made by a different company. One of my other AR-15s is in that, in my collection. Uh, so today we'll be just taking a look at this one. Now unfortunately there's no tags anywhere on this one. So I do not know what manufacturer makes this particular case. But maybe somebody can tell me in the comments or I'm sure you can look it up online and find a bunch of different styles of these. This here is just a sticker I put on there. Uh, this Velcro right here comes with a flat black piece that goes over that if you don't have anything to put on there. So I'm not for sure the name on this one, guys. This is a very good soft side case to store your gun in. Uh, you take it to the range, carry it around. It just makes everything a lot easier when you want to use the rifle. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you guys and let you see what it looks like on the inside right now. This will be the main compartment right here that I'm opening for you guys. And there it is, of course, with my favorite. As you all know, my LWRC M6A2. Pretty much my all-time favorite rifle. So this is the main compartment. And you have a side pocket over here, which you can just see on the edge of the screen there. And then you have one over here on this side too. Also, you have these Velcro pieces here. They come down. It just what these are for is it just helps to secure the gun. I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but for my rifle, I just like to do it like you see here. This just keeps it steady. That's all I need right there. Okay, just. This one comes over like this, and you just take this one and pull it down. It basically is just to keep your rifle in place so it doesn't move too much when you uh, carry the case and walk around. So that's the main compartment. It does have a lot of cushion in here. Very good amount of cushion. Uh, some reinforced cushion up here around the mouth of the case right here. So it does keep everything nice and secure. By the way, guys, I prefer these much more than a hard case. I just like I just like the different features and the things that you can do with this case, and just like the way, just like the look and the feel of it as well. Okay. Okay. Now, on the front here, what you see in front of you or magazine or accessory pouches. You can put in there whatever you want. Uh, I mainly keep rifle magazines in there. So like in this one here, I have a P-Mag. Sorry if I was out of frame there. The P-Mag in there. Then the center one, this is a double pouch. So I just put another one in there. That I'm Another P mag in that one. And you could put a couple magazines in this center pouch here. Go ahead and leave this out though. And then in this third one, I have yet another P mag as well. So I'll show you guys the other benefits of these pouches. All of these are removable. All three of these you can take off the rifle and put back on as needed or just you know not have them on at all however you want to do it and uh, there's a lot of different options you can go with as you can see here when you fold these down there's an extra buckle here which I pretty much never need that you can latch these with there's also cord in here that you could undo that and take it over the front of the pouch now how these are secured on here is they are snapped. There's a strap that goes down with some molly straps right here. And then there's a main strap that's attached to this that goes down in here and there's a snap on the bottom of this. Its weight is on both sides, two straps. 
Here's one here on this side, as you can see. There's also Molly on the back of the uh, magazine pouches here themselves. Let me go ahead and unsnap this for you guys. Just show you what it looks like there. So you have plenty of Molly. So if you didn't have these pouches on here and you removed it, there's a lot of other items that you could hang on here as well. If you know when you're going out with your rifle, whatever you need to do. Okay, I'm just going to leave that like that for now. And like I said, this cord here to secure it down. But I've never had a problem with just using the Velcro or just using these snaps with the straps running through the Molly and Velcroing them down in the front. I've never had an issue with it. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it over here. Also here, you have the two handle carry straps, and you have this, which really comes in handy if you're if you're uh, hiking or you're out somewhere where you're going to be doing a lot of walking and you're taking this rifle with you. Like say you're hiking to your campsite and you want to take this with you, you just undo this this Velcro portion right here, and put your other handle in there, and you can restrap that down. Gives you a nice cushion uh, padding there to hold on to when you carry it, so it's a lot easier on your hands as you're doing extended walks. I normally don't use that, I just leave it like that. There's also two other straps here that come over top to secure it once again after it's been zipped. You can click that one in and you can click this one here. It's kind of overkill on the straps, but I don't mind it myself. Uh, I like the way this bag is designed. Okay, now here's the back. And you also have, which I got this secured down, there's little Velcro loops here that hold this down. And there's a little, little hook right here that it's hooked into. But you have a shoulder strap on here. So you can move this up to a shoulder if you need to, or just take the strap off completely. So that's always nice. It has the padding there for your shoulder. It rests on your shoulder, it moves around. So that always works out nice too. And then there's one last compartment on here that I'm going to get into. And that is right here. It's a secondary to the main uh, large compartment. And this just comes open like this. Oh, my stuff to fall here. Okay, so what I have here is I have the extra grips and pieces to my Magpul my odd grip. It's on the rifle. I have a couple of these ladder rail covers for the hand guards and this here I, I like to keep all my stuff together when I buy something uh, some people don't it's your choice but this is the green bag that the LWRC's come in when they're packed inside of their box so I kept that this is the black velcro patch that goes on the front of the bag if you don't have something velcroed on it uh, this is your LWRC M6A2 owner's manual and a little tube of Milcom lubricant. So nothing fancy in there, just odds and ends. Actually, you know, that stuff doesn't even need to be in there. But for now I got it in there, so. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you're looking into getting a good rifle case, I suggest you go with a style that's like this one here that I just showed you, really been working out well for me, and there's several 
different ones I'm sure you'll be able to find online. I know the one that one of my other ARs is, is in is called a TAC Force case. So if you want something to look up, you can go to TACForce.com and see what they have. But very good home for my LWRC M6A2. All right, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time, this is H4T, and I am out.